Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, Aries, male or female watching. Thank you so much for joining me for this video reading. Okay, I got some intuitive messages here written down in my notebook. All right, let's get right into your messages, my love. I'm getting intuitive message that you're too intuitive to fall for someone's trap. Okay, someone's trying to bait you into a conversation. They're trying to get you to talk about a certain topic. They're trying to get you to incriminate yourself. This person's not who they say they are, Aries. Somebody's coming towards you as if they need some sort of advice from you or they just want to have a chat with you or they have something to tell you. But really, this person is trying to contact you or coming towards you because this person needs some information. In regards to you, in regards to your spirituality, and in regards to your spiritual beliefs, it's this has to do with uh, your spiritual gifts. This has to do with uh, your spiritual healing methods. This has to do with some sort of spiritual practice, okay? You might have a spiritual practice. You might have a business of a spiritual practice, or you have certain different things that you do spiritually. You have certain um, protection rituals, cleansing rituals, Money manifestation rituals, um, divination or some sort of manifestation techniques that you might have or something like that. You have an ability. Okay, whoever you are, you have an ability. You have a high intuition and you have um, psychic intuition. Okay, you, you have psychic gifts. Whoever you are, you just have... Like, you can foresee things that are going to happen, or you just get messages about random things that actually happen, okay? And when certain people come around your energy, you can read them, okay? You can read their energy, you can read them. You can basically see in their eyes, you can read their eyes. You can see past the win their windows of their soul. You know if someone embodies light, light or darkness. You know when someone's lying or when they're telling the truth. You know when someone's sad and they're pretending to be happy. You know this because you are very spiritually intuitive and very spiritually gifted. So somebody here is going to be calling you for spiritual advice. Okay, maybe you give advice to people. Maybe you have that. Uh, you have an online website where you give spiritual advice or answer questions for people. You're intuitive. Or people maybe just know that you're spiritually intuitive and spiritually inclined because um they might be they might be keeping tabs on you through your social media. They might be watching everything you do or what you post. They could have heard it through the grapevine that you are spiritually enlightened and that you have certain different spiritual practices or healing methods that you do for yourself or that you implement into your life. Somebody here knows about your spirituality. Let me just let me just cut through all that just to say somebody's calling you for spiritual advice and be mindful. Aries, male or female. This person could have found you online or this person just knows you personally in your personal life. And maybe you haven't spoken to this person because this person was making all the wrong choices in their life. They were indulging in their toxic behavior patterns. This person is just on another level. Like this person was overindulging in toxic behaviors that you basically don't have anything to do with because you have transformed your life. Like I said already, you're spiritual, you're a healer. You're intuitive, you protect your energy, you say to yourself, you know, you, you can be the type to give other people advice or help them. You could be some sort of Reiki healer. But whatever it is, whatever gift that you have, whatever it is that you do, the way that you protect your energy, all right, somebody here is going to reach out because it's like it's hard for people to get into your life or into your energy because you're protecting your energy right now because your intuition already told you all the deceptive people around you. And everything they were doing in order to ca to cast some sort of illusions into your life, um, to make you question yourself and your reality, or maybe like casting illusions into your life, um, to make you question yourself and your intuition or your gifts. Somebody here wanted to make you feel like your spirituality was wrong, like they wanted you to lose your confidence in your spiritual growth, in your spiritual path, in your spiritual beliefs. All right, this could have been a family member. This could be like. Um, a karmic friend, this could be a, a lover or ex, but this individual basically wanted you to question everything. They wanted you to question why you're wearing crystals, why do you watch tarot, why do you read tarot, or why do you uh, talk to spirits, or why do you do this, or why do you do that. 
uh, what are you sage, whatever. This person was trying to make you, or they're going to try to make you question everything. Or this is what they've been trying to do. All right? In order to, like, get you away from spirituality. But whoever you are, spirituality saved you. Your ancestors and your spirit guides and God and spirituality, your spiritual awakening, is that's what saved your life. It basically saved your life because you were on the wrong path. Because you were surrounded by enemies um, disguised as friends. All right, or, or people that you could trust and your spirituality saved your life. So these individuals behind the scenes, they're like conjuring up something where they're going to try to prove that you're not a healer, that you're a witch, that you're into witchcraft or spell work and that you're doing all these evil things behind the scenes. They're trying to prove that you're doing something that you're not with your gifts. They're trying to prove that you are doing something dark when you're not they are having a hard time getting evidence or proof on you because there's nothing online that proves that you're doing these things whoever you are you you speak of god you speak of love you speak of peace you speak of of good vibes and energies and healing or whatever methods so they have somebody contact you to get into a conversation with you be mindful this person is going to call you and they're going to be interested in speaking to you about spiritual things okay so oh so i've been going through this or that i've been having weird dreams or i've been experiencing you know some weird events in my home and or i've had these weird dreams i would like for you to tell me um what should i do to connect with my ancestors or what should, somebody's gonna ask you that what should i do to connect with my ancestors and how do you connect with your ancestors how can i connect to my gifts or how do i know da, 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 da. how can i clear my energy how can i protect myself from witchcraft or spell like they're gonna ask you a lot of questions because they're trying to get you into a conversation to where you incriminate yourself by telling this person something that they can do that's not of light that's dark some sort of incantation or spell which this is not what you're going to do so this is not what you're going to tell this person but this is what they're hoping for so if this already happened and somebody got you on the phone or they had a conversation with you where they wanted you to um indulge in this conversation where they wanted you to tell them how you do this or that or the third or they wanted your spiritual advice on something they could have been recording your conversations every time or if you had more than one conversation with this person and if they had this conversation with you more than once or once and they recorded it, well, they didn't get any incriminating evidence on you, whoever you are, because you don't overindulge in spell work, because that's not who you are, because you're a loving individual, because you've had to defend yourself all your life from spell work and people doing these things to you. you when you found out what was going on in your life and that people were doing spell work, like the last thing that you wanted to do was get involved into it because you are not of dark and you are of light. So the first thing that, you know that you did was go to the most high god seek god get answers ask god for protection and then start to do your own research on how to spiritually protect yourself from darker energies that's what you teach people or that's what you preach or that's what you believe in and somebody here was trying to tarnish your name your image or reputation by lying and amongst the community or spreading some sort of gossip or lies about you that you are a, a dark practitioner that you're doing this that you're doing that you know, when none of it was true. Yeah, but you're just a healer, you're a shaman, or you're an herbalist, or you're awakened, You're an awakened starseed. They're trying to lock you up to stop your mission to enlighten other people. All right, but they have no proof or evidence on you because God is in, God is in control of your situation. So if you feel like random people are just contacting you or asking you these weird questions all of a sudden, or somebody all of a sudden, they keep wanting to have this conversation with you about your spiritual practices or beliefs or how you do things, be mindful, all right? It's not for you to tell everybody your spiritual beliefs or how you do your spiritual practices or methods to uh, help yourself. Everyone needs to go do their own research. Everyone needs to figure it out with themselves and their ancestors will guide them on how to do certain things, all right? It's not your job to give these people instructions on how to do these things because somebody here is trying to use that against you. But they have no proof of witchcraft in your home or or online, whoever you are. An investigation is over, all right? So an investigation is over because they come to a dead end. There's nothing. They have nothing, okay? So this all is backfiring. Whoever wasted their time by um, making these allegations up about you, now they're under the microscope. Now they could be getting in trouble for making false reports, 
false allegations on you having a false investigation over your spiritual beliefs. All right, because like these gang stalk these gang stalkers are being dismantled. So whoever you are, if you're dealing with gang stalkers around your home or on your property, um, and this has been getting like worse or this happened in the past, well, they're being dismantled. So you're gonna be seeing less and less of these gang stalkers, and you're gonna be um, experiencing peace in your timeline. All right, because you're shifting a major timeline. All right, you don't want to hear the outside noise. You don't want to overindulge in gossip. You don't want to care about what these karmics got going on or what they're doing. You're just following your spiritual purpose. You're just going on your spiritual journey. You're just trying to make sure that you have what you need to provide for yours, your family members, your children, your loved ones, your grandchildren, whatever the case may be, to provide for your household. Okay, so you have no time to be worrying about why these people are lying or making up these accusations or what they're doing. Uh, because it's not going to work, because that's not who you are. And if it's not who you are, it's not who you are, okay? You're not just going to become somebody you're not overnight because this is what they're saying about you. Just continue to be who you are. Continue to shine your light. Continue to be genuine. Continue to be loving. And continue to stand your ground and protect your energy. You don't owe these people anything, but they're feeling some type of way because you dismantled the illusions that these karmic witches or warlocks in your community was trying to project about you. They're angry because you're exposing them all. And like I'm like I said before, some of you guys don't these people never told you what they were doing and, and they never came to you and said anything. You never had any proof, but you know because you're gifted and you're and you're and you have this psychic intuition. Alright, so you know, somebody here conjured up a demon and now they can't get rid of it. Alright? Somebody somebody's being haunted or spooked in their home and their sleep and their dreams and the spirit realm. At work, when they're driving, I don't know this person. Like I said before, they conjured something up, and I heard the name Winona Ryder. Okay, Ryder. Somebody's last name could be Ryder or something about Ryder. Somebody's a Ryder. They they ride a motorcycle or they travel for work. All right. Um, Beetlejuice is significant. All right. You know the movie Beetlejuice. You know that that was Beetlejuice was basically a demon that they conjured up in order to uh, scare out the ghost out of the house. So it's weird how uh, your spirit guides and your ancestors are present in your home and somebody's trying to uh, like conjure some sort of dark entity or demon to send it to your home to disrupt your peace, your mind, and your stability so things start breaking and, and so that you can start having minor accidents in your home or bad things start to happen around your home while your spirits chased away the demon right back to the karmic that tried to conjure it and send it to you. Okay, so I heard Beetlejuice, something significant about that. Scorpio energy, because Renona Ryder is a Scorpio. She's born October 29th. Something specific about this October 29th or October 30th that these karmics conjured up some dark entity, and now they're facing this dark entity in their own lives. You are completely protected. All right, Renona Ryder's from Minnesota, so somebody could be from Minnesota. She was born 1971. Somebody could be born in 1971. Somebody could be 53 years old. All right. Cynthia and Michael are her parents. So somebody you could be dealing with could be Cynthia or Michael or this is you or them. Okay. I heard Vince or Vincent. Reggie Thomas. I also channeled the name Reggie Thomas. Somebody's name could be Reggie or last name Thomas or somebody's name could be Thomas or Tom. Tommy. All right. Kentucky State Senator. So Reggie Thomas is from Kentucky. He is a Kentucky state senator. He is 71 years old. Somebody you're dealing with could be in their age, an elder that's 71 years old. All right, could have conjured something up or could have some sort of information that they want to give to you because this elder is, this elder feels like that, you know, that they don't have much time left on this earth. They might be passing away soon, so they want to tell you the truth about a family secret. Someone who's 71 years old. Yeah, Reggie Thomas is the name I channeled. Kentucky, somebody could be from Kentucky, Alabama, Iowa. Um, Reggie Thomas was born May 20th, something about May 20th. Somebody could be a Taurus you're dealing with. You got Taurus in your chart. All right, Scorpio or Taurus, and a Pisces came out as well. All right, and a Leo. So May 20th, you could be dealing with a karmic individual that's a Sagittarius as well. And this karmic is, like, obsessed with you because, like I said before, you have been marrying out some sort of darkness with this karmic 
that has been trying to project some sort of dark energy onto you, make up some sort of lies, slander, or gossip about you amongst people or in a community, making false allegations or reports. It's all backfiring because the truth is exposed here. The investigation leads to nothing. That's what I heard. Okay, so Kentucky State Senator, May 20th. Somebody could be born on the 20th of the month or the 29th. All right, of the month, 1953. So I also channeled the name Jerry Lewis. Okay, so Jerry Lewis was an old-time filmmaker and the king of comedy. All right, so somebody here could be a comedian or somebody has a funny personality. Somebody's always laughing or making jokes. This could be you. All right, maybe you have a good personality. You're always laughing and you're always saying jokes. And somebody's so pissed off because you're always so unbothered because you're always smiling or laughing. And, like, you always have jokes for everything and someone can't stand you because of it. Wow. Okay, so Jerry Lewis. Somebody's name could be Jerry or Lewis. Is a Pisces. You could be dealing with a heavy Pisces. I've been picking up on Pisces all week for you, Aries. There's a heavy water sign in your energy that's getting heavy karma. A heavy uh, Leo or Sagittarius in your energy giving, getting heavy karma. A heavy Taurus or a Virgo in your energy or a Capricorn, right? So, Jerry Lewis died August 20th, 2017. Something significant about 2017. Something was happening in your life at that time. A series of spiritual attacks you were under. And August 20th, somebody could be born in August or on the 20th of the month. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. What's going on with these cards? What does Spirit wants to tell me with the cards? Oh, crap. Yes, getting readings done on you. I suspected this karmic's been getting readings done on you. Aries, somebody's delusional. Karmic Scary Sherry is under judgment, is delusional, has her mind fixated on you, trying to make up some false allegations about you, <laughs> incriminating herself. If you're seeing a rainbow, that's God's confirmation of your protection and your blessings. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this karmic is delusional. I can't make it up. Hearing voices, mental breakdown, that's what's going on. Because she keeps getting readings done on you. And she can't figure you out. She can't figure you out. I, every time she tries to send a spiritual attack, it just bounces right back to her. Ooh. I heard Wanda. Wendy. Golden offer. Top position. You're getting a golden offer and you're going to be in a top position here. All right, no matter what these karmics have to say or what they're doing, you're having a huge DNA upgrade. All right, you're letting go and you're healing for self-love. You have a business partnership coming in. And a karmic male warlock doing spell work on you is under judgment. This karmic male, all right, could be a Leo or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This karmic ex that slept with one of your cousins. All right, that's not for everybody, but you're very, you're just in your vibe. You're unbothered. All right, yeah. Fake friend here. There's a fake friend. Don't trust this fake friend that uh, actually slept with your ex. And actually, you know this fake friend is shady. So you haven't talked to this person. Now they're going to reach out to you for spiritual advice. Or this is karmic. This is a karmic that you haven't spoken to. I'm working with the Agent Smiths. Yeah, this karmic is working with the Agent Smiths. Trying to make you seem like a witch or warlock. Trying to incriminate you. Trying to get you in trouble. These Agent Smiths, yeah, of the Matrix, they want to they wanna isolate you. They want to lock you up and throw away the key. So you don't shed light on darkness. So you don't help people tra have transformations. So you don't help, help people become enlightened because that's your spiritual purpose. They want your destiny. They want your soul and your destiny. Receiving an important letter or email. Somebody was looking through your stuff. This person's a snake. They were looking through your stuff or they were getting background checks done. Yeah, because you're about to become famous or world-renowned energy. You have a brother that could be going to jail that was involved here. Successful business going all the way up, Aries. Blowing up. Major spotlight. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, they was trying to take you out for money, but it didn't work. Now they want to come and explain themselves. Please let me hear, like, please hear me out, Aries. No. This is a sudden payout of money that's coming, a huge windfall. Because you were dealing with a mother's betrayal, blood sacrificing you. Outcasted by family, a huge money payout is coming. You will have a beautiful home because you're a powerful healer. Karmic justice is in your favor. You will relocate to a new home. The twin flame connection is coming in. If you're not with your twin flame right now, you're about to be. All right? You're about to be. Because your twin flame was dealing with a karmic that was criminal-minded. Male or female watching. You could Your twin flame could be a male or female, but they were dealing with a karmic that was criminal-minded. And they're going to jail. All right? And this twin flame of yours is having a major awakening. Major out-of-body experience. 
Confusion spells are ending. Important phone call or letter. All right, you're going to win some sort of lawsuit money or you're suing someone or some money's coming in. All right, yeah. This is what I'm getting for your reading. A lot of things, uh, a, a lot of things being like a lot of light being shed on these karmics and what they've been doing behind the scenes. A lot of information coming to the light about this karmic with their false allegations, trying to put you in jail. Major Tower, karmic females obsessed. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Okay, this karmic females obsessed with you. All right, somebody has conjured up some sort of dark entity, and now they can't get rid of it. Justice in jail. All right, but you have successful business here. Trust issues. Shelly or Sheila. Shannon or Sharon. Deborah or Debbie. Hidden documents found. I heard Marvin or Melvin. Margaret. I heard Miranda. Angry X. The Sun card. Angry X trying to uh manipulate a child or a son all right somebody here thought that they can use their money to get their way or use their money to pay people or pay the justice system in order to block you destroy you and take your child all right that's that's not for everybody but trying to block the sun in your life trying to block you from um speaking your truth or trying to block you from a connection with a child or trying to block your, your you're awakening, right? You have a, a daughter here. Somebody's daughter's here. Somebody's daughter could be uh, having conversations with an angry ex. An ex could be telling some lies to a, a daughter about somebody here. Or there's a daughter involved. Or there's a daughter here and, and a son. Separation spells. Maybe you know, somebody, need, somebody needs to protect their daughter. Or somebody's daughter here is under spiritual attack. Focus, avoid distractions, hacking your computer. Somebody's gonna auto um somebody's gonna have a surprise pregnancy and it keeps coming up in my readings. Somebody's pregnant, or this is gonna be a surprise pregnancy pregnancy for somebody. Alright, because somebody was cheating and now there's a pregnancy here out of it. Sudden change here, stand your ground, Aries, not a female. This is your reading. I hope this helped. I love you guys. Till the next time. Namaste.